Well, this project started off on the wrong note. I hired this fundi to come do my tiles because the fundi that I usually work with was not available. And the tiles were supposed to be done in the cubicle area as well as the tab area. And when I got back home, this is the work that he had done. And to be honest, I was not impressed, especially with the shower cubicle area, because I really wanted to have straight lines between those tiles. And some tiles were um, higher than others. He did not put in any corner strips. So when my fundi was available, I had him come and redo the shower cubicle area, especially because I really, really needed those lines to be straight. And here is Johnston doing his thing and once he was done with that it was looking really good i really really liked my straight lines because it was very important for me to get the straight lines and that is where we get to start off this video so you know what let's get into it hola so it's quite windy and i hope you can hear me well i want to make colored ground for my bathroom so i want to mix it right now i'm about to leave for work but i wanted to leave the grout dry during the day and the reason <clears throat> i want to do this is because i want to do colored grout how am i going to do this i want to use paint to mix my grout as opposed to water i'll probably use a bit of water but i want to tint my white grout to be orange because that's one of the colors that i'm using in the bathroom and I want like the idea I have for the shower area is I have matte black tiles on the base and I want the spaces in between the tiles which are going to have the grout to have orange because then that's going to lead up all the way up the wall and into the ceiling chickens are fighting uh, shines life so I am using the paint choice the paint color that we've chosen for the bathroom which is tangerine tango and then i have my grout so this is grout that i've had for a while i had it left over from i don't even remember what but uh it like the paper punctured so i put it in this like ka, ka bag so i want us to mix and then apply it before i leave then we're going to leave it drying for the day uh, takes about 24 hours to dry well so into tomorrow so that you know the shower can i've already used it so um as is so now that's what we're going to do i have a small container um i've cleaned it so it shouldn't have any oil it was a container that used to have oil i have some water clean water in case i need some i looked for something to do the mixing with no peanut no sit over there thank you uh, so I have this like metal thingy that was just laying around so I'm going to try and use this to mix then we have the actual grout which is in this bag look at that beauty I was thinking just put a bit of water right and then add the paint can dry and then once it's dry we'll be able to uh, paint it so right now it looks like that we want to give it like a nice even texture because right now we still have this patches where we did the plumbing yeah. Better Said you're done trying 
trust in but you get it. Um, so we didn't get to this part like this, but this is what this looks like. Just one coat. It looks really good. Um it's possible for someone to just be like, you know what, I'll leave it at this and just do you know sand it down and paint it but i'm still going to do a second coat because this is a shower uh it's going to be the shower area so i want the wall to be thoroughly protected to be tucked away all the way in there so what i want to do is i want to finish down here first on this side and then once i'm done as that is like setting down i'm gonna go up again and start doing the second coat and hopefully by the time i get down here it will be whatever enough for me to go over it with the second coat because i don't have to come back here uh, and then also do this section so i've already started like um, scraping down this because it has like some ninis that fell within the roof so this also needs to be handled like this spot uh but i don't necessarily have to do that right now i can do that like tomorrow morning before i leave and more work in here so today we are we have to do the painting so we're painting the walls we are painting this um cabinet vanity thingy we want to get started on that and by we i mean my brother and i because my brother is around so he's helping me so one of the things we have to do first is to sand down the white cement that I did on the walls. But I did it in a way, I think the place that has the most sanding is at the base because I think I was too tired yesterday, yesterday, the day before yesterday when I was trying to do it. Uh, but the top, I did a really nice final thin coat to just like level it out so there's minimal sanding that's expected up here and even the base it's just like a small section and near the blue over here we just need to sand it down nicely make it smooth and then we are going to paint so when we're painting we'll start with a base coat of course um because we also have landlord paint in here so we're going to see um how far we can take that um the other thing we need to paint the window and the door this window we have not sanded it down we have not done anything with it but i'm thinking we can open the window on the outside sand and then just sand the frame on the inside and then once we're done we can paint it and then we can paint the grill that's supposed to come here and then actually install it and also um i was thinking of turning this glass into frosted glass because it was like oh it's so clear when you're in here you see out there but then when you're out there you don't see in here as long as it's like clean that's what i've noticed i've checked and also it's like quite high up so i'm just like do i really want to turn this glass into <coughs> into frosty glass or not <coughs> sorry i have homa so yeah anyway um there's that we have to whatever the handle this one doesn't have a handle so i think we'll remove from one of the windows outside and then put that here as the handle for this second one and they both don't have that thingy for holding the handle. <laughs> so um, I'll see if I can just remove that from the other windows that are no longer being used and then paint them and put them back. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done. But I'm excited to do it. So that's something. The other thing is with the painting, we're painting even the ceiling. I think I want us to paint the ceilings that we're done. So first things first, we have to remove this and get it outside. Um, and it won't come back in until the tub has come in. Is the center of attention I'm no one of those 
Cause I got you Everybody else makes me feel small And done and lost But you're not like everybody else at all You're the only one who makes me talk That's like the trim And then the green It really looks nice I like it. Oh, let's see. I want you to see the. Ooh. Ooh. So we did this green because this will be seen from the inside. So the idea is like stuff that's seen on the inside is green, stuff that's seen on the outside is orange. But then the frame, that part of the frame is considered to be outside because that's where the door sits. Now we're outside painting the cabinet. And so my brother has already gotten started on this. So you know what that means. The cabinet is going green, but um, well, it was already green, but a different version. We're going mere green on the sides. And then the parts that are pink, we're not painting all of the insides, just the parts that are seen. So the face frame, quote unquote, uh, the face is going to be the orange. So the orange will be picking out or it will be creating lines along the green. So two things that I want to do. So remember these doors were closing together so there was no gap in here, right? So that's why this one is like this and then this one, the two doors come together here. Now I want to add the piece over here. So we have a piece like this. So I want to add that quarter, whatever piece. And then now our doors will be falling inside this so that we have another one here. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. Uh, in terms of the orange beads, so I'm thinking of doing that and then we've also removed Our black whatever's I'm trying to decide if I want them to be orange or if I want them to stay black so Monday you come over, stay a couple days, I wonder Is it gonna last? Will you keep your promise? I don't know what you said, be honest Will you do your best? You said with forever that you wouldn't leave me, never But it's all a test Cause Friday I know better You go out to see you later Good morning. So, last night I was feeling oh, there's so much echo in here. Last night I was feeling like there was still more I could have done in here. So, what did I do? I got started painting the walls white to see how much brighter this piece looks without the landlord paint. Like, uh, I just feel like, oh, I think that I feel like. <clears throat> The, the thought of what the space is going to look like once it's done is what is like really gassing me up to be like just keep going just keep going was i feeling exhausted by the time i was painting not really actually i think i was like i was more focused on oh this is a really quick job for me because i paint really fast i'm so used to painting so i want to do the second coat of the white paint there's some parts I didn't paint because someone did not sand that section properly. So it's like, I don't see the point of adding paint on top of that because it still needs a bit of sanding. I'm thinking of just taking out the, taking out the sanding machine and just giving it like a um, real quick, pa, 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 you look good, let's go. Almost a whole year ago, I went to Builders and then I found that they had a shower cubicle on sale. It was at like 50, more than 50% off. And cubicle is white and I want it to be black. So we're going to paint it because we are ready to install. It's supposed to be a DIY friendly shower cubicle. Uh, apparently anyone should be able to 
install it as long as you have a couple of tools here and there i did watch a video on the installation process as much as it did come with a what's that thing called a manual uh i watched a video on the installation process by builders essay the space we have is bigger than the cubicle we have because it's like a corner cubicle but the way our corner was situated was we were working depending on one where the drain was because we're using the former drain <laughs> the one for the that used to be the drainage for the toilet and then we're using the second thing we wanted to include that car closet space at the back so it's slightly longer than the cubicle we have but i have a plan to fix that so it's not going to be a problem okay it's okay guys don't run this is our friend hi baby girl hi rafiki uh these are the other parts i had started painting i was attempting i was trying to be lazy let me call it what it is not lazy i was trying to skip steps okay so yesterday i tried to spray this and then i wanted to see if that would happen if i skipped steps which clearly that happened so we're we're doing the proper we're going to do it the proper way now so I'm doing my calculations from bowels that I need because there's that section where the bathtub is going to sit um, I want to have like a paneled wall but I want to use TNG uh, for those who do not know TNG means tongue and groove that hence the TNG where a piece of wood has a tongue on one side and a groove on the other so they stick to each other like they clip into each other <laughs> what are these noises i'm making they clip into each other um and then um you get like nice straight clean lines blah blah, blah. i was trying to calculate the amount of wood that i'll need for that because i want to have a shelf for um where the nini ends so now when you're chilling in the bathtub like this when you gear up um i want there to be like a shelf on the wall where i can have some plants i want to have my um haha <laughs> my whatnot like my bath salts i want to have some cute stuff i want to have bath bombs ouch i want to have bath bombs and all that and everything in between um for the bathroom section this the bathroom the shower this part of the shower is going to be tangerine tango. So the paint is supposed to, there's something that's happening on this other side, which is going to be the mayor green, but that's only coming up to like a certain point over here. Then when it gets here, it's going to transition and this entire space is going to be tangerine tango into the ceiling. Um, we're going to try and see if we can get like this, uh, how far this goes in. And then that's what we're going to do up here as well. So I want to prep this wall to do that. done you will notice there's a this side looks a bit streaky this section it's because I had painted some of the 
the silk paint over there, so that's going to take a bit more time for you to uh, set into the space, I guess, the wall. Um, on this side, because all I had was the... What's it called again? What do we call it? The base coat. Lord. We only have the base coat, so it really sucked in the paint a lot faster. But that's okay, this is also going to dry down and look exactly the same. Then I'll come and do another pass on this one. And then we'll do a second coat. And then remember here, it's supposed to come this way and go back that way. And then we're waiting for these sides to dry so that we can do our nice crisp lines. But right now, I love the way it looks. And you can see the green against it. Uh, that's the orange. Ooh, you open all the way. It's orange with a bit of green. Ooh, cute. But you can see the mayor green against it. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it does. I love it. The two colors look so good next to each other. Oh, yes. are still working on this bathroom uh, today is whatever day it is my tangerine tango paint ran out I need to do another coat of paint on this wall I want to install the cubicle so what I want to do right now is I want to finish painting these edges where the cubicle is going to go uh, so finish those ones then the cubicle can go in and then because the inside with the cubicle in place i can still paint the inside so that's what i want to do right now of a space that's about 10 inches that ends up not being attached to anything so the cubicle will leave a space that is 10 inches so for that 10 inch space what we're doing is we are making a permanent um, frame and then we're going to put glass in it so it's going to be a permanent framed glass and then that frame is where our cubicle will start attaching from and then continue. So we won't have like a gap in the middle, we just have a frame on that corner to make up for that difference, okay? So as we were doing that, I had to remove this. These are the, the attachments for this. And it just hit me that I had not painted them because they're still white, they're plastic but I'm still going to paint them. So I'm going to spray paint these ones. And also the, there's the handles, the knobs for the, for the glass and everything. So I'm going to go paint. The only thing I won't paint are the wheels. a brush 
and some paint. And this is what the candle and I were able to accomplish. So I want to now come finish up in here. So I want to paint, finish the second coat of paint. Some luck in the back. I don't give up what so and so and say. Finally got my friends in the back. Got my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moment. Stay in the moment with me. When we leave for the night Wake up in your heart But still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the flame burn out for a while Stay in the moment Okay, cool. So even this one, it's like drawings, but we shall figure it out. All right. I'm, I'm confused. Uh, is it? Pretty fantastic. Years pass by with that golden past. You can't even make it. Till the night time laps, we're in the daytime strength. Your self esteem taste can't. But damn, it's hard to make a man with empty hands feel hands full of love. Like, feel like the wintertime sun. Till our hands move backwards. Don't make a sound, it's a fragile. Walk that we tread into casual. No, I've had it good since I've had you oh, yeah. We're still No, I'm going. scared as fuck, this is sad too But this embrace feel natural Is it heavier than I wanna stay <laughs> till <laughs> past you Even if it means I gotta face the music And mm -hmm. hear the sound of being happy Hear me high Every speck of weather is impeccable when you are near And that's the truth, my dear But I'm scared to hear the sound I'm scared to hear the sound I'm scared to hear Good morning, it's me again. 
Um, wow, where to start? So, yesterday we fixed this, but remember when I told you the, the wheels of the base were not doing what they're supposed to do, okay? So, oh, that would be a lot of work. So, they're not, they're not scaling on the track. They are, even when I press down, they are refusing to get on the track. And I have measured everything. This down here is level. Because I was like, oh, maybe one is higher or nothing. It's straight. Um, so this one's leaning a bit this way. Just a bit. Um... This is level, this is level. So I'm like, I don't understand the problem. I'm trying to understand where the problem is coming from. So I tried that whole aligning the door thing, but it doesn't do anything. All it does is if I, if I do this screw, the door moves this way. I do that one, it moves that way. That's, that's what the alignment is for. But I still can't attach the wheels at the base. So I'm very, very confused because I'm not getting it. I'm, I don't understand. Um, should I do it the other way? We see what that does because I'm trying to, I mean, is it, a, am I supposed to lower this or not? I, I don't know what's going on. Brand new street and brand new me Back here Side by side by friends I need Don't you tell me that you're in town I already know Couple days ago Hey, now that our names are written in stone Let's be honest, sounds like home Still I'm here alone and I'm calling your I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could dream about somebody else I wish I could talk when the sound is so loud I wish, oh I wish I wish I could wipe my own memory out I wish I could do something that would make sense I wish I would know what you're thinking about I wish I Here for just a short period of time and then you're out. 